Okay, so I would mark down here my longitudinal line. I mark up here the top edges of my darts. You have your T-pin. You can just mark through, or you can put your sloper back in place to do this. I have no idea currently where my slopers are. They're in this room somewhere, but I don't know where. I'm gonna mark my hip line over here. My crotch line over here is gonna move, but I have my lines marked over here. So now I know my hip line is coming in right here. My crotch line is go from here. Can't put my crotch line in. Why can't I put my crotch line in? Because my crotch line doesn't go from edge to seam edge. My crotch line stops, or cut edge. My crotch line stops at seam edge. So my seam allowance has to be present first. Can't put in my longitudinal lines until I know where my dart points end. I know my darts end about an inch above my dart point. My circles are gonna go in there. My longitudinal line comes from here up to the bottom of this dart. I need seam allowances. These lines are no longer relevant. And that just turned into number 19, the receded pubic area with a minus a quarter inch correction. This is the pivot method. It's a pant front, size 10 half scale. And my name is Jen. <laughs>